So I'm making this video to show you how to add your MPS account to your phone so that you can use Google Classroom and get to your Google Drive. Um, in order to use Google Classroom and Google Drive for MPS, um, you have to set up a new account first. You're not allowed to just add um, this account to apps that already exist. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to go to the settings menu that's usually at the top somewhere. And there's usually like a little settings wheel. So I'm going to click on my settings. Then I'm going to go to my accounts. And then I'm going to scroll all the way down to add account. I'm going to choose Google. And this should open a new window. Just looking for my password right here. So I'm going to replace um, whatever they give me with my MPS account. So yours is going to be your student ID. Mine looks a little different maybe because I'm a teacher. So then I'm going to press next. Now they accept. Then you're going to see one more login. So this is the same login that you usually see um, when you're working with an MPS account. So I have to put my pass happy. It's going to confirm. This is going to allow me to enroll my device. It may take a little bit. I've done this before. Um, so now it's found my account. It's ready to set it up. It's asking me to create a work profile. You have the option to not create a work profile. However, if you don't do that, NPS has the permission and ability to wipe clean your Google account whenever they see fit. So I would recommend just going ahead with the work profile. Do not click to check that box. And click next and we're going to accept and continue so now setting up a separate profile so that my MPS account